Share your smile. Give away a smile this morning. They're free. And just say, the peace of the Lord be with you. And you say, and also with you. Share the peace, everybody.
futility, not by its own will, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and brought into the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until the present time. Not only that, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the spirit grown inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption as the sons of redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we are saved, but hope that is seen is now hope at all. Who hopes for what he can already see? But if we hope for what we do, not yet see. We wait patiently. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, young man. Very good gift there. Bless you. So, yeah, this is that letter to Romans. It's talking about the first fruits of hope and action. <coughs> God creates us all. So, it's our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hand. It's higher than mountains, deeper than a submarine, wider than the universe and beyond our wild, sorry, let me just think that again. Wilder than the universe and beyond our wildest dreams. He's known us and he's loved us since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Okay. So, please stand and take part if you want to, or are able to. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, we've just got an advert, sorry. We've got an advert.
here today. And we've been working sort of for the last three and a half years on what we can do to protect God's creation. So as, as Diane mentioned earlier, today is the start of creation time. And across the world, across this country and across the world, other churches are also supporting creation time. Um, there's a theme this year which is to hope and to act with creation. So it's a hope of a better future for future generations and what we can do collectively and individually to care for the earth. And it's also to protect our creation, God's wonderful creation, to make the world a better place. So just a few things that the Eco Church group together with um, yourselves and the wider community have been doing. So you'll see on the slides we've got now in the churchyard we've got a no mow area. You may have seen no mow may for uh, lawns. <laughs> we do a no mow churchyard, which is just certain areas of the churchyard that we're not mowing, it's managed. And that's increased lots of wildflowers, which helps the bees and the butterflies. <coughs> We've put up lots of um, netting boxes for birds and also bat boxes. You may have seen, especially on an evening, lots of bats flying around in the churchyard. We've also uh, put bird feeders up and recently a um, hedgehog little home, which is really cosy. It's in a very, very quiet corner of the churchyard. It's a really li lovely little hedgehog home. And um, that's from Prickly Edge. And those of you that are local to Nestle may know Prickly Edge. Prickly Edge is a really good charity that supports injured um, and poorly hedgehogs in Nestle. So, so that's a hedgehog box from them. Uh, we've had lots, we usually, I've got to say, we've had lots of butterflies and bees. We haven't this year, sadly. Um, the numbers seem to have been down, which I think is, is across the country. So that's a bit of a worry. Um, hopefully they will be back next year. And we've been lucky enough to be awarded the Wildlife Garden and it Award from the Yorkshire Wildlife Trust. Um, so we've been awarded that in 2023. And with the help of yourselves and the community, we've held coffee mornings, charity coffee mornings, where we've raised funds for water aid and also for Prickly Edge as well. And they've been really well supported. In the uh, in St Margaret's Hall, we've got toilet all the toilets are twinned. You may have seen the signs in St Margaret's Hall, and they're twinned with countries who don't have toilets. It's difficult to even imagine not having water and toilets. It really is in our country, but lots of countries across the world don't. So we've been able to give them some money to help hopefully get their toilets in their country villages. Uh, we've installed a water butt at St Margaret's, so we're now using rainwater instead of tap water, and that was funded by Leeds Council, so um, thanks to them. Underpew heating, we'll be very, very grateful for that uh, as the winter months come along, I'm sure. And that helps with us not using so much gas. We'll be using more electric, but not so much gas, which is a good thing. And then on this picture you will also see the metal wombles. Some of you might be involved with metal wombles. They're doing an absolutely amazing job collecting plastic waste in metal. And I think that I think they need some monthly, I think, as far as I can remember, or, or just around that. So a big a big thanks to them. So that's what we've done, uh, which is which is really wonderful stuff. But what we need to think about now is what we will do and commit to action. So it's hope and action. So we need to think about action now. So what I will do is hand over to Peter. I've got a little activity for you. It's nothing awful, don't worry. <laughs> Who says it won't be awful? <laughs> if you came thinking you were going to get, <coughs> excuse me, frog in throat, wildlife. <coughs> If you thought you were going to get a quiet ten minutes sitting to listen to Diane giving a sermon, that, that was the sermon with the action, it she's was. done that. Right. Yeah. Um, you're not going to sit there. If you feel able, you're going to get up and move around. That's the first 
action we'd like you to do. But please put your hand up if you think you're not going to be able to get up and walk around. Hands right up, please. Yes, one. Now, boys and girls, just let, if you can hold your hands up where you need help. Elsie, if you come forward, because you're going to be a helper for. Sorry, Mo. Thank you. Anne needs a helper. Nicholas, would you? Uh, you're going to be Anne's helper. Well done, that young man. Okay. Who else needed a helper? Yeah, no, we've got, we've got one there. Elaine, you need a helper, won't you? Can I have a volunteer to go back? One of the girls here to go and help Elaine. It's, it won't hurt. It's ever so easy. It just means they don't have to walk around. Everybody else is going to have to get up and walk around. Because we've got four stations. Sometimes we have prayer stations. These are action stations. Because they're about deciding that you can do something some little something. And one example from this station is that you could do a random act of kindness. We're going to ask Jackie to pop back up just for a minute to tell us a little story about a random act of kindness that happened only yesterday. Um, we were in the church like yesterday. You may, you may be aware that, that a group of us in the churchyard came together and we were going in the churchyard yesterday pottering around and this lovely gentleman just turned up with no idea who he was, with a pair of sacketeurs. And he stopped his, his van outside, just outside here, and said, what can I do to help? After I got over my bit of <laughs> shock, and thought, what a wonderful thing. And he stayed, he could only spare about 10, 15 minutes, but he stayed and he weeded, he used the sacketeurs and helped. And that was just him stopping outside. And it made, well, it certainly made my week, it made Peter's week to think how wonderful. So just the smallest act of kindness can make a difference. So thank you to him, and he was called Chris. <laughs> and Chris was an after van driver who stopped his big green van outside to do it. And when I asked him, he said, my first delivery this morning was in Methley, and I've now been to Pontefract and Morley, and back up. And he just put a little breather, and he gave us tennis. So, random acts of kindness on this station. On this station, lifestyle. This is mainly about food and drink. Community is about how we can work together and help each other with a random act, perhaps. And we've got biodiversity and farming, very important for creation, some of the creation tie. And then right at the back we've got the fourth station, and that's about global neighbours. So, the idea is, you've got your card, you should have your pen, we'd like you to go from station to station. At each station, you will find a sheet with five or six things that you might think you could do. Some of them are just learning, they're just about going on the internet and finding out about ways in which you can help. Uh, I see a few shaking of head. If you're not keen to go on the internet, join the club. Um, <laughs> but, but see what you can do. It will make you think. Thinking is the first step to action, and prayer is the way of supporting action, as I'm sure we'll talk about later. So, everybody stand up, please, if you can. If you can't, you'll have a little helper. <coughs> I would like um, to find you off. So... Down to Basil Hill. Would you go to that station where Diane is, please? Would you go to this room? Would you go to this station? Would people in the front view gather around station one and people at the back gather around 
just in speed. We've got three done already, so the pressure is on to get round now. Make your, make your decisions. I'm going to give you two more minutes. We're not going to mark your homework, don't worry.
I don't think Reverend Barrett should say sorry. You know who's screwed up, don't you? So, well, thank you for giving this a go. Action stations as well as fire stations, actually. And so this is just to help focus our mind. And some of the stations you might find a bit more difficult to sort of engage with. But it's just the gist of trying to get us all to think about how we, as individuals, but also as church, can act on keeping creation as lovely as God would want it to be. So that's for you to take home. And maybe just use as a prayer focus that, yeah, don't beat yourself up if it gets to the end of the month and you haven't done anything. This is the reminder of, yes, I did think I would do this more. It's your reminder, okay? Nobody's going to check the harvest whether you've done it or not, honestly. What we're going to do, though, now, is, is offer all this to God in prayer and offer sort of a prayer of commitment that we do want to commit to acting, bringing that hope, and also being part of the hope of helping God's creation. So, this is, if you just want to hold this in your hand as a sort of symbol of your offering to God, and we've got a prayer of commitment, so I'll read out the white words if you all want to pray the words in yellow. We join with the earth and with each other to bring new life to the land, to restore the waters, to renew the forests, to protect the creatures. We join with the earth and with each other to celebrate the seas, to rejoice in the sunlight, to sing the song of the stars, to recreate human community, to promote justice and peace, to remember our children. We join with the earth and with each other for the healing of the earth and the renewal of all life. Amen. We thank you for your act of commitment that we've offered to God. We thank you, Eco Group, for getting all of that information together for us. And actually, aren't we blessed with all of the great things that we've done as a whole church group and community? Um, so there are lots of blessings already have been done, haven't we? Thank you. We're going to have our offer to him now. So during this will be a collection if you want to for donation towards the church and its work. And during it we're going to sing uh, to God be the glory, great things he has done. Praise the Lord, as he has done great things. So please stand if you're ready.
in the room God's creation. We're going to now just have some prayers. In general, uh, anything that you want to pray for this morning. Okay? Prayers for the world, prayers for people, places. So this is where I'm going to hand this over to you. So I'm going to throw this floor, <laughs> catch it, say a prayer. Do you want to say it out loud? Fine. If you don't want to say it out loud, that's okay. Just tell me when you're finished, say the word Amen, and we'll all say Amen. Okay, anybody want it to start off with? I'm going to have to walk up because I can't in your own prayer if you haven't already said it to God for the people, the places around the world and nearer home
Is this Harvest Festival? We're talking yes. about the coffee mall. Bring cake and coffee. Harvest Bolly <laughs> is the Harvest Festival service of the, of the okay. church. What we would most like to have is tin and dry goods, which we will take to the Leeds South, e South something or other headquarters of the Trestle Trust, which is the national chain of food banks. Whilst we're on food banks, just quickly, Helen, we do support locally a food bank which operates out of Blackburn Hall in Rothwell, and through that we, we distribute to local people and we have a little distribution set up to help people here in the village the collecting tins. So if anyone wants to donate to help our food bank efforts, now's a good time. Thank you.
deep peace of the quieter to you, deep peace of the shining stars to you, deep peace of the gentle night to you, moon and stars pour their healing light on you, and deep peace of Christ, the light of the world to you. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you this day and always. Amen. Amen. And let's share the grace and some work, some actions for the grace as well. well. There's always actions for everything, isn't there, basically? The grace is sort of like just receiving it, the love of God. The fellowship, you could hold the person's hand next to you. Woo. And lift up if you want to, or just do that. Okay? So let's pray for grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Go in peace to look and serve the Lord in the name.